Welcome to Electron Online. In the previous video, we found two very interesting equations. The equations were needed in case that a number of molecules went from a larger volume down to a smaller volume, and the equations were the probability that that event will happen, and also the entropy change in case that event happened. Of course, since it goes from a more disordered state to a more ordered state, the entropy, would, of course, would then decrease, it would be negative entropy change. So the equations in turn were the change in entropy will equal to k times the natural log of p, k being the Boltzmann's constant defined over there, and p the probability which is defined over here. It could also be expressed in terms of the change in entropy is equal to k times n the number of molecules times the natural log of v2 over v1. Again, that came from this equation right here. Now, um, the way we want to then take a look at it is let's say we had a sample of 10 molecules and they are, they are in box number V1. Of course V1 is illustrated right here. Here's the molecules and let's say there's 10 of them. Then let's take a look at that box every second. We take a little snapshot of, of that box to see where the molecules are at. And we're looking for an instant, when we look at it once every second, that all the molecules would end up in one half of the box. So every time we look at it, when will we see an event where this will occur, that all the molecules will be in one side of the box and none in the other side of the box, provided there's only 10 molecules. So we look every single second, and let's take a look at that. So we see then that the probability of that occurring is equal to V2 over V1. In this case, V2 will be half of V1, so we replace that ratio by one half, and then N would be 10. And you can see that probability is 1 every 10, 24 looks. So about once every 1,000 times that we look, we will see all 10 molecules in one half of the box. That will then happen about once every 17 minutes. So it's very possible that that will happen if we take a look at that box once every second. Now, what will be the change in entropy? Well, here's the equation. We we'll use this equation right here, the Boltzmann's constant times the number of molecules, times the natural log of the ratio. So here's the Boltzmann's constant, there's the 10 molecules, the natural log of one half, and it comes out that that is then the change in entropy. Notice the negative sign because it's a drop in entropy. So what happens if we're not dealing with 50 molecules instead of 10? Well, the probability of all 50 end up in one side of the box and none of them the other side of the box, well, that's not nearly as likely with 50 molecules. You can see it's the probability is 1 half to the 50th power, so it's 1 in 1.126 times 10 to the 15th. 10 to the 15th is a thousand trillion. So, if we then convert that, if we do it once every second, we look at the box once every second, it will take 35.7 million years for that event to occur just once, just with 50 molecules. Very, very unlikely. So the very small probability. But is it possible? It is still possible. Imagine how long 35.7 million years is, and we look every single second. We look, we look, we look, we look. No, 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 no. But if we do that for 35.7 million years, I wouldn't sign up for that job, but let's say that somebody is willing to do that and can live long enough to do it. That's pretty long. Anyway, it would take that long, 35.7 million years. Still possible, but what if, instead of having 50 molecules, we have Avogadro's number of molecules, a mole of molecules. So now we go from 50 to this number right here. We can then see that the probability of that occurring, it would be one half to the Avogadro's number as an exponent. That number would essentially be zero. And that's when we can say that instead of it being improbable for it to happen, it would simply be impossible for it to happen. When you have that many molecules in a box, and you look at that box once every second, and when do you think it will happen that all of them, Avogadro's number of molecules, will be on one side of the box and none on the other side of the box? That will simply never happen. At this point, it has become an impossibility instead of a improbability. And that is how it's done. Let's see if somebody complains about that one. Someone says, it is still technically possible. 